Well, hello, farming friends, and welcome back to another edition of Farming Simulator 2015 with me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose. Hey, today we're going to cover some more course play tutorials, and we are going to focus on windrows and using a windrow device to set up your field for uh, doing some hay bales. And today we are going to show you a couple of different ways to do this or explain it to you anyways. The first thing I want to tell you is if you haven't already, you might want to watch my video on mowing or teetering with course play. That'll tell you uh, some information that you might find handy. Uh, there's two things about using course play to do win row. If you've already automated your teetering function, in course play you can probably come back and use the same course that you did for teetering to actually do your wind rowing uh, which would prevent you from having to record a whole new course uh, but if that's not the case then you will need to start from scratch and that's what we're going to walk you through first so to do that it all starts with the perimeter of the field if you've not seen a video on how to do that i'm going to go ahead and walk you through assuming that you might not know it Recording a perimeter of field is where field work starts if you have an unplowed field because course play does not scan unplowed fields. So if you have a field of grass, course play doesn't know it's there. If you've got a plowed field that you're going to sow some weed or something like that into, course play knows it's there because it's been plowed and it can see the perimeter of it. So we're going to have to manually show course play the perimeter. And to do that, we just hit start course recording and we're going to record a course around the perimeter of the field that we want to work in. So we're going to do that real quick for you. Now I've done this in a couple of previous editions and I apologize for being repetitive, but I knew though there are some people who will just be viewing this video and haven't seen the mowing or teetering videos or any of the other videos where I set this up. So just bear with me on this as we record a quick course around our field. Now, by the way, I mentioned the mowing and teetering videos. I do have uh, several videos on course play in the playlist for course play tutorials. So if you want to learn how to use different implements, mowing, teetering, any of those things that you might do uh, while playing farm sim that can be automated, I cover those in our farm sim tutorials for course play. Now, if there's not a tutorial up there for a particular uh, function that you could do with course play it's probably because I haven't recorded it and put it up but eventually I hope to cover pretty much every aspect of the things you, you can do with course play in these tutorials so our perimeter is almost done we're gonna run back up here to where we started our recording and then we'll just end our course and by doing that we'll just hit the stop button and that is our perimeter. Now, if you'd never done this for this field, you would go ahead, use the save icon. It looks like an old floppy disk. You would click on that, type in the name of the field, field 40. You could even put field 40 perimeter, whatever is best for you, and you would save that. Uh, then you could organize it by putting it into the folder for uh, field 40. You create a folder using the create folder icon. You would name that field 40 it would create the field and then if you wanted to move it you could just select it and move it on up into this particular 40. now i recorded a field earlier for field 40 this was our teetering course which was field 40 12.5 meters starting in the northeast corner going south one head run uh, around the course now i want to move that in my field 40 folder and to do that i just click on the move button I select field 40 to drop it into there and it's now been moved into field 40 for me now if you'd already done all that and you had it recorded and let's say this particular implement we're going to use is 12.5 meters I could simply just reload that field 40 12.5 meter uh, course and I could just go from there but we're going to size our implement down a, just a hair so we're going to go ahead and create a new course. So we're going to collect our WinRow device. And we're going to go ahead and set up a course. Now, uh, how did I determine the width of this? Again, I went into the store. I looked at my WinRow. And I see that it is a working width of 12.5 meters. 
Uh, now, as I've explained before, I do tend to size things down so I don't miss anything. So I give myself just a little bit of overlap. Uh, so that's what we're going to do with this course. So let's go ahead and get set up. Now, we are using field work mode to do our field work. And you will use it for probably 80% of the functions that you do in course play. Well, then once we have selected field work, we're going to jump over here to course generation. And we our field path, well, we need to get that from a previous field. And what we do is we use that course that we recorded just a second ago as field 40. We're going to go to the globe here, which is manage courses, and we're going to select field 40. That will bring up that perimeter outline of the field that we just made. Now we can go back into course generation. And let's get rid of all this information and do this again because it is wanting to mess with me. All right, load field 40. Now, under course generation, we have currently loaded course selected. Our working width, we're going to make that 12 meters. Now, I could go ahead and just select the working width to be calculated automatically using the little calculator, but I'm going to dial that down manually to 12 meters so I do have a little bit of overhang. Our starting corner is going to be in the northeast corner. So we'll select northeast. We're going to be traveling to the south. So we'll select that. We don't need to worry about return to the first point. We only use that when there are things in the field that might cause us uh, issues if we drove through them going to the end point. So we're not going to use that. It doesn't matter for this application. Headlands, well, that's the amount of times we go around the perimeter first or after we've done our north-south leg. For this, we're going to do one perimeter run just to help us out to have a little room to turn around and then we're going to do our north-south run. So we have a headland and because we're starting on the left hand side of the course we want to go in clockwise motion. If we were starting on the right hand side of a field I would go in counterclockwise motion. So starting on the left we'll go clockwise and then we will do our course. So we're ready to generate. We hit the generation icon here. It generates a course for us as you can see up above. If I want to see the whole course, I can select the whole course to be viewed here. Now, if you don't have these little dots in your version of course play, you'll have a little button that'll say like show start end and show all. You would show all to see all of the little dots. And once you do see that, you'll know your course is ready to go. Now, I can save this course so I can use it at a further time or I can not save it. It just depends. Well, I'm going to go ahead and save this one for us. Because we're going to use this, and I highly recommend you save if you're going to be using your windrow to make hail ba uh, hay bales. Or even if you're going to be doing a forage wagon. It's very important you save this course. Because you can recall this course when you go to use your uh, baling machine or when you go to use your forage wagon. So make sure you do save this course. So we're going to save this field 40. And this is my own method for saving. You might make a different method up for you. It's all up to you. Field 40. And we are going to be starting, uh, let's see, we're going to be using a 12 meter run. So we'll set that for 12 meters. I'm going to turn caps lock off. And we're going to be starting in the northeast corner. I'm doing this in the dark, so I'm not seeing all my keys perfectly. We're going to be running to the south. And we are going to have one head row. So I'm going to go ahead and put one for me, HR. There. It's pitch black in here. I can hardly see the keyboard. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now I'm going to go ahead and just for organizational purposes, I'm going to find that where it says field 40. And I'm going to click on the move button. And I'm going to drop that into my field 40 folder. Now you can see I have it. You can look down at the bottom. It shows me the field work icon. It shows me that field 40 is lo loaded. The field 40, 12 meters northeast, south. One head row is loaded. So, hey, guess what? We're good to go. Now all we have to do is make sure our settings are correct. Working from right to left, as I always do, I go ahead and I set, select if I want to use four-wheel drive. In this case, I do. I don't need any lane offsets or anything else like that. I will go ahead and make sure my settings are how I want them. Speed, make sure it's correct and how I want to set my speed. And then finally, we're going to drive the course. Now for this one, we're going to go ahead and leave our implement folded up. 
because course play when you start from the beginning it will want to refold and then unfold the implement to verify that it's in the correct state so you might as well start with it folded up select start course at first waypoint hit drive course and it will come up here unfold itself and it will start to win row and it's that simple folks that's all you got to do now course play is going to follow this course it is going to run around the course and it is going to win row the entire field for you so now I told you it was very important that you select this course and save it why is it important to save this course well if you're going to be coming behind this and you're going to be using a baler or a forage wagon to pick up these win rows you're going to want to reuse this course to do that because it will follow the exact course that the tractor followed on this because remember if you did it if you set up a working width of three meters for the working width of a forge wagon over a baler it would be going up and down this field in a whole bunch of empty space so the course that you actually want to use is the course that was used for the wind row because you're working with even though you have an implement with a three meter head your working with actually needs to be that of the device you're following which is the wind row which in our case is 12 meters so keep that in mind now if you were using the bigger crone which I think is 16 meters you'd, you'd be wanting to use 16 meters the key to it is just use the course that you used for your win row so make sure you save your win row course uh, when you do it in course play and once you do that you're just gonna follow this course and when it gets to the end you'll have a nicely win road field that's it that's all you gotta do folks it's that simple and it will uh, take care of everything for you now how did we get to this point again first thing we did was we mowed the field using course play then we came back and we teetered using course play. Now we're doing the wind row and in our next video we'll cover bailing with course play. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope maybe you've learned something. I'm not going to make you sit through me watching this thing run all the way around the field. I will let it run one or two little passes and then we'll wrap this video up. Now remember there are more tutorials in our course play tutorial uh, playlist so check those out if you want to learn everything from transferring equipment from one field to another how to run a combine in manual mode and use a tipper to unload or an overloader to unload uh, we even cover unloading with a combine mode unloading using an overloader all of that is covered under our course play tutorials so make sure you check them out there's more to come as I continue to explore the world of course play for you so with that come on back and enjoy the next one go check out the mowing teetering videos or any of the other videos and remember i do post new videos every day whether they're tutorials for course play or just let's plays i hope you enjoy the videos like them if you do subscribe if you want to see more and come on back tomorrow for another video with me mr moose here on my channel thanks a lot for coming out stay safe have a great day and i will see you tomorrow bye bye hey thanks again for watching this video and if you made it all the way to the end well maybe you liked it so give me a big old thumbs up that like goes a long way also subscribe to this channel i will update the videos every single day so there will always be something new for you to see i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you'll come back again tomorrow thanks for your support